बिसमीम् अल्लाम एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल अपग्रेड योर ग्रेड होपफुली यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल माई नेम इज़ सलमा रुमान एंड आई एम लेक्चर ऑफ बायोलॉजी इन बेस ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेज टू डेज ओवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ह्यूमन वेस्टीजियल ऑर्गन ह्यूमन वेस्टीजियल ऑर्गन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड वी ऑल हैव टू बी अवेयर ऑफ दोज ऑर्गन विच आर नॉन फंक्शनल इन आवर बॉडी सो वी कैन डिफाइन दैट वेस्टीजियल ऑर्गन आर स्ट्रक्चर्स और ऑर्गन विच आर प्रेजेंट इन ह्यूमन बॉडी बट दे आर नॉट परफॉर्मिंग एनी फंक्शन दे वर परफॉर्मिंग फंक्शन इन ओवर एनसेस्टर्स बट एज वी आर डिसेंडेंट्स फ्राम एनसेस्ट्रल स्पीशीज दे आर नॉन फंक्शनल दे आर यूजलेस बट स्टिल आर प्रेजेंट इन आवर बॉडी एज वी ऑल नो दैट थेरी ऑफ एवोल्यूशन वॉज प्रपोज बाई डारविन एंड ही ऑल्सो हैर एक्सप्लेन इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ वेस्टीजियल ऑर्गन वाई वेस्टीजियल ऑर्गन डिवेलप्स इन डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजम्स वट इज़ द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स और एडेप्टिव कैरेक्टर्स ऑन द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ वेस्टीजियल ऑर्गन सो वी कैन डिफाइन दैट वेस्टीजियल ऑर्गन इज एन ऑर्गन और अ टिश्यू और अ स्पेसिफिक सेल दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन अ लिविंग बॉडी एंड इट इल रिमेन अलाव इन दैट बॉडी बट इफ दैट स्ट्रक्चर और दैट ऑर्गन इज रिमो moved from that body through surgical procedure it will not show any disadvantage in that body the first most important human vestigial organ is vermiform appendix from very beginning of modern medical science evolution of human vestigial organ is considered as one of most debatable topic and according to evolutionary knowledge of comparative anatomy this vestigial organ is present in many herbivorous mammals it is functional in rabbit but is non functionally human it is functional in rabbit in the form of galt which is gut associated lymphatic tissue and this lymphatic tissue is performing its 50% immunological functions in rabbit it protects the body of rabbit from different pathogens from different microorganisms but is non functional in humans in humans appendix can be removed from the body through surgical procedures and it will not show any harmful or negative impact on body after removing this organ second most important vestigial organ is coccyx bone it is also known as tail bone and this tail bone is remnant of evolutionary process evolution of our ancestors coccyx bone or tail bone is present in humans during embryonic stages when embryo is 31 to 35 days old but later on it lost its function according to recent research it is involved in the maintenance of body's weight it allows attachment of ligaments tendons and muscles and is important to provide the attachment of pelvic joints third important human vestigial organ is wisdom teeth थर्ड मोलर टीथ हमारे एनसेस्टर्स में हमारे ह्यूमन एनसेस्टर्स में प्रेजेंट था क्योंकि उस टाइम पे वो ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा डेंस प्लांट कंपोनेंट्स पे डिपेंडेंट थे वो उसका एज अ फूड मटेरियल यूज़ करते थे इसलिए उनके जॉज का साइज भी बड़ा था एस वी ऑल नो दैट द डाइट्री पैटर्न और डाइट्री बिहेवियर ऑफ मॉडर्न ह्यूमन्स हैव चेंज नाउ वी आर एक्टिंग और बिहेविंग एज ओमनीवरस ऑर्गेनिज्म वी आर कंज्यूमिंग ऑल types of food so this third molar teeth may cause pain it can be removed surgically and is even harmful to the extent where surgical procedures are often done to remove this teeth Similarly fourth important human vestigial organ is ear pinna ear pinna is non functional in humans it is composed of anterior auricular muscles and posterior auricular muscles but these muscle fibers are involved in the development of specific structure in mammals in other mammals excluding humans it is important for the identification for the sound localization for the expression of emotions but is non functional in humans in animals it act as external stimuli receptor it means it is involved in the sound receptation behavior but is non functional in humans and is present in human body as vestigial organ Similarly an other important vestigial organ known as venasal organ or Jacobson organ is present as vestigial organ in humans this organ act as chemoreceptor it is part of olfactory system in amphibians in reptiles in birds in other mammals specifically in placental mammals it is present as chemical sensation cells in main nasal chamber 
It detects different chemicals that are present in air or in water in the form of pheromones, oxidative organic chemicals which are present in air to provide the stimuli or information about mating and copulation, about sex behavior, about opposite partner. But these specified cells are non-functional in humans but are present in our nasal channel. Similarly, another important vestigial organ is nictating membrane. This nictating membrane is present as small fold of tissue and this tissue is known as pilisa semilunaris. It is a transparent membrane which is hinged at inner side of human eye. It is functional in other mammals, in amphibians, in different reptiles and in birds, but is non-functional in humans. This particular is involved in the protection of eye. It keeps the moisture level of eye and protects the eye from the invasion of dust particles or other chemicals which are present in air or in water. According to recent research, fifth little toe of our foot region is also considered as human vestigial organ and this vestigial organ has changed from past many centuries and is considered as non-functional in humans as well. Memory glands are present in all mammals. It is functional in human female. These memory glands are involved in the production of milk to lactate the young ones. But the breast or nipple are also present in human male it is non-functional in human male but still is present so is considered as a vestigial organ because human male is not involved in the lactation of their young ones and can't produce milk that's all for now we all are humans so it is important to understand human anatomy human morphology in upcoming video i will explain internal organization of different organs but don't forget to like comment and subscribe our channel keep watching our channel and thanks a lot for watching this video take very good care of yourself Allah Hafiz